Hey, you're watching Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And what I want to do is say thank you. Uh, driving to school this morning, I teach at a high school and the junior high is connected to the school. I was driving there with my son this morning. He says, Dad, when's the last time you checked your views? I said, oh, son, I'm not really a real YouTuber. I don't really check them very often. Last I remember checking them was July of 2017. By the way, it's March of 2020, if you're just now watching this, all right? He says, Dad, you've got over a million views. I said, uh-huh. He said, that's important. I said, is it? He said, yeah. I said, is that good? He says, yeah. He watches a lot of those video game YouTube channels or something. He said, that's good. He says, did you do a thank you video for it? And I said, no, am I supposed to? He said, for a million views you are. I said, I don't remember seeing a million view thank you video, but... I'm going to do one right here. Hey, thank you. But I've got some other folks I've been meaning to thank too. And I was planning to do this video anyway. The million views aside, all right? Actually got a little bit more than a million because I hadn't checked it in a while, you know? Um, and a channel update. Guys, I have not cooked in my ugly drum smoker since Father's Day weekend of 2019. As I mentioned, it's March of 2020. I was going to cook on it 4th of July, and the back vent was messed up. I think my drum is still in good shape, but it's rusted. It needs repainting. And Ugly Drum Smokers Texas, late last summer, sent me some parts to fix it up. But I had to get some casters, and I had to get some screws, and I had to get some paint. And I was planning to do that a weekend in August. And the weekend I was planning to do it, my stepmother passed away. And uh, dealing with all of that. And then the school year started, and I hadn't gotten around to it. I missed my drum smoker. I have now, as of yesterday, uh, I got the casters a while back. But I got all the stainless steel screws, and I picked up the paint, y'all. So um, I got a couple busy weekends coming up, and then... Um, probably the third weekend of March or so, I should be able to get on that drum smoker. And it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different than it was before, but I plan to be using it a lot more on my channel. I miss cooking in my drum smoker. Makes such good pulled pork, man. And it makes good ribs too. So anyway, I, I wanna thank Ugly Drum Smokers Texas, and I got a few other ugly drum things to uh, show you too. And so uh, stay tuned, I wanna uh, tell you about them. Drum smoking's so great. Uh, what reason I like drum smoking? Smoke naturally goes up. It doesn't naturally go to the side. You know, some of those smokers, you got the firebox over here, goes aside. Not knocking offsets, I am not knocking offsets, but smoke naturally goes up. So an ugly drum smoker, vertical there, also called an upright drum smoker, I think that's what UDS originally stood for, makes a lot of sense. They're a lot of fun to build, but if you can't build them, Ugly Drum Smokers Texas, Brockman Smokers out of Tennessee, they can get you one custom made for you with whatever you want on it, all right? But anyway, uh, UDS Texas sent me some parts. They're going on my smoker. I'm not gonna have the upright uh, vent holes on it anymore. And so look forward to that on my channel coming this summer, more UDS cooking. All right, let me show you a uh, couple of thanks and then We'll be right back to close this out. Did you know they use ugly drum smokers in Australia? That's pretty cool. They got a Facebook group and a Facebook uh, page, and I'm going to leave a link below to that. I check in on the Facebook page. I'm not a member of the Facebook group because I'm not from Australia. But one thing you need to know, they don't have any 55-gallon drums in Australia. No, you ship something in those shipping containers all the way to Australia. The journey is so rough to the land down under that once it gets there, it's no longer a 55-gallon drum. Uh-uh, it's a 208-liter drum. Oh, yeah. From Tennessee, good old Rocky Top Brockhouse Smokers. I look for them on YouTube, but I don't see any YouTube videos, but they got a lot of videos on their Facebook page, and I'm going to leave a link below to Brockhouse Smokers. I've actually got two of their flags. One of them is actually in Tennessee orange, which actually reminds me of Texas orange, and I've got this one too. It goes with the other red flags. Anyway, it's Brockhouse Smokers, so if you're in Nashville area and you want a custom drum smoker, get that. I think you can get parts from them too. Anyway, Brockhouse Smokers, Nashville, Tennessee. 
And I can't forget Steven. He's been such a friend of my channel, watches a lot of my videos, supports me in the things I do and whatever I cook on. And he makes ugly drum smokers. I believe he's out of Spring, Texas. My uh, brother used to live in Spring, Texas, so I'm quite familiar with Old Town Spring and all of that. Anyway, Ugly Drum Smokers, Texas. So if you're in this area and you want a custom built one, call Ugly Drum Smokers. If you need parts, I think they can hook you up with some parts too, because he sent me some. Another thing I need to thank outside of Ugly Drum Smokers is something else from Texas. I think this is out of Greenville, Texas. Pork Belly Woodworks. Y'all seen this cutting board on my channel before, right? I absolutely love it. The guy sent it to me. Now look, I don't ask for anything. I don't even ask for subscribers. I don't ask for you to view and like hit the like button or any of that stuff. I appreciate it when you do, but I know you're bombarded with that from other YouTubers all the time. I figure if you like what I'm doing, you'll go ahead and click the stuff. I don't have to ask you. The only time I mention that is in these thank you videos, all right? But if you watch my other videos, I don't mention click like, subscribe, or whatever. But I want to thank you for doing it. I thank you for the million views. And I don't ask companies to send me stuff. But if they offer, I take them up. And one of the offers I got last summer was from Pork Belly Woodworks. He wanted to build this custom cutting board for me to use on my channel. And I gotta tell you, this thing is solid, works great. I keep it mineral oiled. I actually use it, but it's a showpiece. People come to the house and go, oh, that's a nice cutting board. I said, it is. Well, they said, what's PBWW stand for? Pork Belly Woodworks. They're on Facebook too. All right. Hey, thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. All the links are below. And uh, thanks for getting me to a million views. Look for some ugly drum smoking on my channel coming up summer of 2020. It's been a while since I've done some, since the summer of 19, 2019, actually. And uh, I miss the drum smoking. Anyway, once again, thank you so much. Gracias por mirar.